Yeah. 45,000 the soul of Vestal, which, if you look at all the other bustles, it look different, but then let's have a look at Vestal's. Vestal, Velstat, it's Vestal, Velstat, I don't know why I'm calling him Vestal. Soul of Vest, Vel, him, defender of the king inside the undead crypt. Him, he, was always at the king's side, as if he was the lord's own shadow. After the king retired to the undead crypt, he followed, never returned. So we go in here, and we look down, and we see a man. But not just any man. We see the king, hollowed and alone. We wonder what has happened to him, but there are no answers yet. Instead, we look through his armour, and we find the king's ring, and we get the king's ring trophy. His armour lies on the floor, and the herald waits at the door. Let's have a read of the King's Ring, shall we? A soul is much like a curse, and those with strong souls must bear within themselves an even stronger curse. Vendrick, King of Drang Lake, used the powerful soul to keep the curse at bay. In the end, he sought the flame that began it all. Wear this ring to open the King's Gate. So we're going to have to leave Vendrick alone for a bit, but... This ring is the symbol of the King. Use it to gain passage through the King's Gate and venture to the Far East. Bearer of the Curse, if you are to be the next monarch, then one day you will walk those grounds. Without really knowing know why. why. There we go. There we go here. Fun little thing, vest all standing like the only light spot in the room. Just a cool little tidbit. And if we use... May as well get them used up, because we're going to get a permanent homeward boon before long. They're just like an infinite use one, even. Not a permanent one. So that's very exciting. Go here. If we go... If we travel to... Your undead crypt entrance, and we talk to Agdane again. He'll give us stuff for helping us. He'll gi yeah, he'll give us stuff for allowing him to help us and having beat the bot. Yeah. Hi, my name's English. <laughs> I have fucked even that up. Wow. Yes, we will return to Vendrick later on. Fucking bucket. I did, man. I'm very proud of you. You're my friend. What do you, you have met the king, have you? Life is never easy, never fair. Even more so on this path you've chosen. May you find your peace one. Take these with you. You may need them. In the past, the former... This place has gone so soon. He gives us his set. The Agdane Black Robe. Robe worn by Agdane of the Undead Crypt. Life itself is suffering or karma, as some, have as, as some have called it. The embrace of death awaits all things, but does death mean an end to suffering? Agdane's cuffs. You can't break these cuffs. I can break these cuffs. You can't break these cuffs. Also, we've got the Lady I said. Robe of a Lady a Pyromancer. Lady apostles in their conceit occupied the undead crypt and misused death. This invoked the ire of the finito, of finito who branded them as trans transgressors. Um, we got a bunch of cool stuff. Got this. 
the tiny Thor thing. Got a magic shield. There it is. Small shield used by Lady Apostles and beautiful special magic that allows spells to be deflected by pirating. The Lady Apostles were inhabitants of the undead crypt but failed to treat death with the proper respect. As punishment, they were denied peaceful deaths. And we also got, more importantly, it wasn't the weapon Agdain was using, but it's something similar. The Dark Drift. Katana of Graveward Agdain. Has a crystal clear blade and a strong attack that slices through enemy shield. The katana was originally wielded by one who, the one who gave us first death and still ex exists imperfectly between planes. If you want what Agdain was actually using, that being the Crypt Black Sword, you need to fight Nito on New Game Plus, all the New Game Plus bosses give you their soul as well as another soul. And you use said of our soul to get the crypt black sword. So again, I'm gonna homeward bone out. A uh, homeward bone, yes. Now we're going to warp to Majula because we need to level up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wa warp the. Yeah, I was gonna use my souls now, but I thought, what's the point? Warp the Majula first. Uh, right, we are going to. Get to pop and souls. We might end up with over 2k here, I'm not sure. Close to though, 174 k. At least we don't get seek 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 left now. Right, we are now 30, 30, 30, 33, 33. That's good enough for me for now. We're gonna go in here, talk them all, and. You need arm. And he sells Vestalt stuff and the Mirror Knight stuff. Let's just read it. Armor worn by the Looking Glass Knight, made of metal but has a high lightning defense. Those who wish to serve as the king, serve the king as loyal warriors must take the king's passage and face the Looking Glass Knight. Those who fail the test are sacrificed by the merciless specular monstrosity. And Vestalt said, Armor worn by the Royal Aegis. Originally imbued with the power of miracles, but now soaked with dark after the extended exposure in the undead crypt. A knight from a faraway land was lured to this accursed land, but, never, but forgot even why he came. Eventually seduced to a shadow of his former self. We can at least buy. 12, 20. Can't buy his helmet, though. However... Don't need his helmet, we're just gonna wear his set normally because it's pretty fucking cool. I'm not actually gonna be wearing it, I'm just buying it because I can. And. It's pretty cool. Well, maybe we'll. Uh, I like it, but it's no full on set. Of course, we've got to get our hood back on. 229 souls, and you know I'm not going to be dealing with that, so... Completely passing it. The dark side.
And now we are going to whop. Whop. We're going to whop. 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 We're going to whop. 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 We're going to whop to the ruined fork road. <laughs> Where we will be taking the third and final pathway into a new area. That area is the forward path. Where I originally thought Dragon Lake was, but nope, that's too logical. Even though Dragon Lake Castle's right there, you would thought, oh yeah, it's just a straight path. Nope. The lead around here, and you're like, oh, come back, little guys, come back. And then it's like, oh yeah, fuck you, there's no go. I made a grave mistake. <laughs> Alright, that's good. I'm just glad the ankle biting little monkey things on coming inside us. Boom. And he is dead and dropped nothing. However, we can still kill these guys for being a little shit. Black Knight Great Axe. Yep, they drop weapons. It's really weird. Both of them drop Black Knight Great Axes. But there here is the Red Tearstone Ring. Which we'll read now. Um, where is it? Red Tearstone Ring. A ring set with a rare Tearstone reacts when the wearer is in danger, temporarily increasing its wearer's attack power. Kefa, goddess of tears, mourns the undeserving dead, shedding tears red as blood. Set the stone set in this ring is one such tear. Also, we're going to need the King's Ring just for up ahead. This is the first area in the game where you'll need it. Ring try to hit, ring quite ahead, yep. And there's a cyan knight on the door, because... Why would, wouldn't there be a cyan knight on the door? And... here we are. As the door opens, we are given access to a area that the king evidently wanted no one to go in because only he can access it. All dears keep. 